back to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. So, between this and last episode, I got sick. Still kind of am. Right side of my throat still hurts, but I can talk at least. Um, my level is going to be a little higher, because the only thing I can do while being sick is grind out this dungeon here. Oh, where is it? I passed it. Oh, oh. Ah, here. I've been grinding that dungeon, did all the floors, and... We got the last floor, and now I'm on the EX floor, which is level 55 and higher. Um, I also... That's basically all I did. Everything from Hello Work, and I mean everything. Kamurocho, Jincho, all Hello Work are done. This popped up. I'm gonna go there probably after I'm done doing this intro. Actually, I can go in front of there while I'm explaining what I did. So, also... While I did that, I did all the hello work, and then I did all the bonds. I mean, all the bonds. Everyone's max rank on their bonds now. And for classes, which, oof, I'm starting to feel my throat a little bit. Oh, it's good today. Oh, well, I'm not doing it for too long today. Well, yeah, I did a lot of stuff. And then on top of that, I got some, you know, levels, I got some outfits, I got... Oh, yeah, you name it, I got it. But yeah, all their classes have been leveled up, and a bunch of other things too. So yeah, I'm going to show you first their bonds, then I'm going to show you the ending of the dungeon. Boy, actually, uh, sorry, I'm going to show you the rest of Kiryu's memories that I could access before, but I can access we now because I was high enough level. So I'll show you that now. Then I'm going to show you their bonds, and then I'm going to show you the ending of the dungeon. Which, yes, there is actually a thing in the dungeon to show you. So I'll show you here, right now. There's a pretty rad pawn shop nearby. Always got a ton of great finds. Been a while since I stopped by. Maybe I'll go poke my head in. I didn't realize there was a pawn shop around here. Go figure, right? It was actually a hoarder's house, originally. But once it got cleaned up, turns out it was full of treasures. I bought, bought some of the bulls for my shop there. So, the bulls at your restaurant are secondhand? Yep, a total steal. All right. Good old photography. Actually, I used to be really into taking pictures. And you're not anymore? Well, in the past, I would snap pics of everything around me. But one day, I realized I just couldn't find any more inspiration. Maybe I'd seen it all. It was this emptiness. Like I had already captured everything in the corner of my own tiny world. But I was just a kid back then. So the memories aren't very sharp. So even as a kid, you felt your world was small. Damn. When you put it that way... It sounds like I was a real brat, huh? Well, if you feel like you've broadened your horizons, maybe give that camera another try. See if anything new's inspired you. Eh, it's worth a shot. Things are going well. Ever try pudding from a convenience store? Ugh, they're so rich and creamy these days. Coming from an experienced chef, I don't believe you. Actually, good food in general has gotten pretty easy to find. Means I better get my ass in the kitchen. Huh, that's a winning attitude. I just can't stand to lose. Oh, it might just be easier to sell some of that store-bought pudding in the end. <laughs> I doubt you'd end up doing that. I'll bet you'll whip up something from scratch that blows that other stuff out of the water. You know? That's what I like about you and Casa Gakun. Sorry, what was that? Ah, nothing. Just thinking about a recipe for some mind-blowing almond jelly. All right. <laughs> Passing by this arcade always brings back sour memories. Something bad happened here? One day, on a whim, I tried out this capsule machine selling pocket plants. Plants? Guess they'll turn anything into collectibles these days. Yeah, well, 
I ended up getting five of the six possible items, with no dupes all in a row. I was on this winning streak, so I figured I'll pull again, just to snag the whole collection. But it was like the last one was actively dodging me. In the end, I spent like 7,000 yen. My arm was practically jelly from pulling that crank. Sounds like the machine got you good. <laughs> but you know, when I finally scored that full set, it felt like the stars aligned. Must have been a big relief. What type of plant was in the last one? Just your everyday Japanese spruce. Huh. Congrats. Things are going well. <laughs> that a UFO or... No. Just a plane. Oh well. You disappointed? Well, yeah. Who wouldn't want to meet an alien? You have questions for them, or something? Oh, <laughs> I'd ask something like, uh, what are you into? Sounds like you're on a blind date. <laughs> Damn, Kiryu-san. You always know just what to say. But I guess those questions should be prepped in advance. Interstellar diplomacy, you know. Definitely not something you'd find on my bucket list. Ah, humor me a little. What would you ask an alien? Me? How about, uh, what do you do on your days off? Guess it really is a blind date. All right. Also, just know it's the kimchi lady. I'm gonna eat some hot kimchi. Yeah. There's a sharpness to your fighting style, Zhao. Your strike is like the flick of a wrist. You think so? Oh, big honor coming from you, Kiryu-san. Maybe all my hard work's paid off. Have you been doing some kind of specialized training? Nope. Just draining water from noodles. <clears throat> That's it. That's it? Draining ramen noodles takes a bit of finesse, believe it or not. The goal is to make quick, reflexive movements in as few moves as possible. Too much waving your arms around screws with the noodle's delicate texture. And the snap of your wrist is key. So I guess it showed up in my fighting, too. To think it all stems from something as wholesome as making noodles. <laughs> what else is up your sleeve, Chef Zhao? Things are going well. Convenience store employees have so much crap to do. Seems like hard work. Besides manning the register, they've got to process utility bills, issue show tickets. The more services the store offers, the more skills the workers need. If I were in their position, I bet I'd be really grateful for self-checkout. Yeah, that probably lightens the workload a bit. I had to ask an employee for help when I tried to use the self-checkout. Oh, me too. Those things are tricky. I suppose the customer needs new skills as well. Nanchan, look! Print circle! No way. It's a booth for ID photos. Nice try, machine. Oh, how disappointing. That looks kind of roomy. If we squeeze, we might all fit. Barely. Think so, Kiryu-san? Why are we even considering this? Let's just find an arcade. You know, print circles are getting pretty advanced. Some even have skin softening filters. Like in those photo apps. Sounds fun. Uh, so no group selfie? You ever notice, Kiryu-san, how much swag these kids' manga magazines have nowadays? Swag? <laughs> Little bonuses, man. Microscopes, mini planetariums. Some even come with a claw machine. Really? You can get all that in a magazine? That's right. You build the gadgets yourself, and they're typically well-designed. Huh. That's new. When I was a kid, all we got were playing cards. Am I to take it you still read manga? Nah. One of my regulars brought his kid in, and I noticed the little guy crafting stuff. And before I knew it, I was sitting there helping him out while the dad was munching away. What a nice family atmosphere. All right. Our bond's getting deeper. Hmm. 
Might be time to buy some new threads. You mind making a stop if I see a nice place? Not at all. You have a particular brand in mind? Hmm, it's not that I don't, but I tend to go for whatever randomly piques my interest. Kinda why I can't stand shopping online. Hmm, true. Ordering online can be a crapshoot. Yeah, exactly. I suck at it. I always end up with stuff that's not quite what I imagine. And returns are a hassle, so I'd usually give the clothes to my men. <laughs> Free clothes to sweeten the deal. Not bad, considering your fashion sense. Not bad at all, right? Talk about employee benefits. That's one way to put it. Things are going well. I'm really into green tea. I enjoy a good cup of tea. And I notice a lot of desserts are green tea flavored these days. Right? But I'm in it for the process. Not so much the flavor. Somehow, I just love making it. That's a pretty refined hobby. Sure, it was tough starting out. My tea would be all icky and lumpy like snot. Now I make a mean cup of matcha. Creamy, foamy goodness. You see, initially I just wanted something to go with my tea cakes. But these days, all I really care about is the arts of tea. And honing my brewing technique. Sounds like the journey replaced the destination. But isn't that how it goes? All right. <laughs> What are you muttering to your phone about? Oh, it's a crossword app. Forgot the deadline for the sweepstakes was coming up. First magazines and newspaper. First, now there are crossword apps? They're pretty fun. Educational, too. I... Oh, oh, gotta be. Not even <clears throat> What's the prize if you win? Well, let's see, huh? A year's supply of bean sprouts. I doubt those sprouts could last a whole year. Yeah, no way. So if I win, I'll have to hold a bean sprout bonanza at my restaurant. <laughs> and I'm sure I can rely on old Kiryu-san to help finish them off. They have given away something more useless. Things are going well. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't. Something up? There's this walk made by a famous craftsman that just got released today. I wanted to try it out, so I was really gonna... There were limited quantities, and they have all been snatched up already. Damn it. Guess it was in high demand. Well, yeah, they're popular. But I bet it's only sold out because of scalpers. Scalpers? Yeah. They buy up all the good shit, then list them for auction at sky-high prices. I see. So they're opportunists. Bastards aren't even gonna use what they bought. Really pisses me off. If I ever find one in person, I'm gonna deep fry their ass. Not sure anyone wants that on the menu. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, they got Virtua Fighter. You're into fighting games, Zhao? Sure. I played the crap out of Virtua Fighter back in the day. Yeah? Must have been a big shot at your local arcade, huh? Not at all, honestly. I spent all my time playing it on the Dreamcast. And I got used to that controller. But arcades are a whole different beast. So I always lost. I was kicking myself for not buying the arcade stick along with the game. Ever since then, you won't catch me dead without my tools and weapons. I'm so ready. Seems life has a funny way of teaching us lessons. Things are going well. I've really gotten to know them. I need to stop off for some cleaning supplies at the drugstore. Spring and cleaning or something? No, oh, I own a restaurant, remember? The floor tends to get pretty slippery. Right. 
Ramen shops and places like that do tend to get fairly messy. It's actually a huge pet peeve of mine. One time I was crossing the floor, both hands gripping full plates, and I nearly ate shit. But I pulled off a triple axel and managed to save the meal by the skin of my teeth. Ever since then, it's been my mission to keep the floors of my shop squeaking. No way I'm wasting precious food over something dumb like tripping up. Never would have guessed you'd be the one to slip up. But if it results in a cleaner floor, then I suppose all's well that ends well. Not to mention, I'd love to see you do your acrobatics in a restaurant. All right. Our bond's getting deeper. Hey, this truck sells vegetables. Yeah, they do. I buy them here often, actually. Trust me, they are top-tier veggies. Oh, damn it. So, they're fresh? That's part of it. For example, check out the asparagus. Flows, tips, all nearly identical. <laughs> or see, uh, the daikon are hefty, but don't have too many cores. Stuff like that. I get it. Makes sense you'd notice that as a chef. <laughs> I admit, I meticulously evaluate all my produce. But they're used to me here. I bet any shop would feel honored to serve such a passionate customer. That's not sarcasm, is it? Things are going well. I've really gotten to know them. Yo, these frames are sweet. How are they any different from the ones you already have? Now the difference is slight. But yeah, they are the same style. I guess I like to stick to a type. I've got around 20 pairs of these same glasses back home. <laughs> you go all in, don't you? But I understand why you'd stick with what's familiar. Right? I knew you'd get me. All right. Our bond's getting deeper. Hey, check it out. A four-leaf clover. Oh, nice find. Are you gonna hang on to it? Eh, it's a nice thought. But I'll pass. Life's been good to me these days. Hanging out with pals, running my own restaurant. I feel like someone else might need these lucky leaves more than me right now. <laughs> That's very compassionate. <laughs> uh, tell the truth, I just don't want to get my hands dirty. They're high maintenance. Sure, I believe you. Things are going well. Complete. Say, Kiryu-san, you up for a trip to the arcade? An arcade? Uh, sure. Do you have something in mind? Eh, not in particular. I just got the urge to play a few games with you, that's all. Out of nowhere, huh? All right. But my... here, Khan. So, it's a... Marine Time Museum. It's... Very neat. Boats always make me think of Onomichi, a shipbuilding town that faces the Seto Inland Sea. Quiet, calming place, surrounded by sea and mountains. I could see how Haruka wound up there. Haruka wound up there. It's also the place where I was officially declared dead. Though I always think of Kamarojo as my hometown, because I think my life would come to an end elsewhere. Feels like just but yesterday. I guess it's not all bad. It's a good place to rest in peace. Should have known Chinatown would be a good place to find souvenirs. Hm. Is this no Michi merchandise? Who knew he'd end up in a place like this? First time I put on that suit, I never thought he'd end up in a nationwide phenomenon. Guess it's all due to the love that was put into him by his creator, 
Hiranoka and the people on the meet you. Ah, that takes me back. Glad to see all that hard work's paying off. stick around here for too long because it's the same place where Haruka got in an accident. I understand what people mean now when they say your mind goes blank. I never want to recall that incident. I can't forget the anguish I felt hearing how she shielded Haruto from the impact. She's always been a strong kid. Now she's stronger than she ever was. Than I ever was. Right. So that's what it means to be a parent. Uh. Amarocho Hills is practically as big as the Millennium Tower. Back when this place was still under construction, fought to the death of a man on the very same rooftop. Ryo Goda. Dragon of Kans Kansai. He was powerful. More than anyone I've ever faced before. I'd go as far as say that man was a monster. That's why... I sometimes get the feeling that he'll suddenly reappear right before my eyes. Even now. Ah, that takes me back. I wonder if the kids at Morgan Glory feel the same way about me, too. Hey, Namba. Ah, uh, Kiryu-san. Shit. I don't know what to do. Honestly, I've had worse reactions to my face. Okay, um, remember everything going on? Yeah, the guy stalking the Abichan in my old workplace, the bigwig? Sure. What about him? He's here at Ijinsho. Out drinking with some henchmen, apparently. Just now, me Abichan called me to let me know. She warned me not to run into him. The thing is, this son of a bitch cost me my job. And he keeps antagonizing me, Abichan. What are you thinking? I'm thinking maybe this is my chance to finally say something to him. That's all you want to do? You seem like you're ready for a brawl. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. It's just... curious on when I saw your face, I knew I couldn't put this off any longer. Hey, don't make my face your excuse here. Yeah, I know. It's my decision to go out there. There's too much I need to get off my chest. No turning back this time! Um, how much have you had? You seem a little tipsy. Uh, okay! Let's make some magic, Kiryu-san! Follow me into battle! Wait, this isn't like you, Namba! Supposed to be somewhere right around here. How did it all turn out like this? Hey, curious son. Eyes open for that guy's harasser ass face. You need to take it easy. <laughs> Is that good old non bus standing in my way? Oh, now that's a lucky break. Finally found you, you dirty swine. <laughs> what now? Grunt. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? You should be bowing! Why should I bow to you? It's not like I'm your employee anymore, right? I've been laid the hell off. So right now, we're just two grown men. And you're the one in my way. Oh yeah! You did get fired! <laughs> hey, you guys know about him? Good old Nongba here got busted for stealing meds as a nurse! <laughs> That's an old story, and not like it sounds. But you're still the creep who harasses his secretaries. You're the one who had me fired, weren't you? Miyabi-chan and I were friends, and you couldn't stand to see it, right? <laughs> yeah? So what? That it? Is that why you're so upset with me? Losing your nine to five? 
It's not just that. The Avichan lost her first job as a secretary because of you. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Oh, are you here to avenge her? <laughs> well, throw down, little man. Come get some. The hell did you say? Don't let him make you throw the first punch. He'll just use that as an excuse to gang up on you. <laughs> Your big old buddy here is pretty sharp. But you don't need his advice, do you, Nanba? Prove you're a man and take a shot at me. <sighs> That's so. <laughs> so, you admit it was you then. What? You fired me on your own. It wasn't a company decision. That means... It means Ichiban was never the reason. He's 100% innocent. He's blame-free. Huh? What are you rambling about? We did it, Kiryu-san. Ichiban wasn't at fault, just like I figured. Well, that took a 180. Nanba, don't tell me. Uh, somebody explain what he's saying to me. Nah, fuck that, actually. Talking is bullshit. I'm a man of action. Bring it on! Oh, uh, he has no idea what my group is right now. Alright, let's do this. It's I got a new homeless weapon. Hmm. Uh, wait a second! Hold on, please! What's gonna happen to me? Hey, Mr. Grabass, sir. You leave me Abichan alone starting right now. All you do to her is give her a secretary job again. Obviously, not working underneath you, that is. You assign her to the most decent boss you have down there. Uh, but I... Oh, is that not doable for some reason? Maybe my friends and I should come find you again? And again? No, no! You got it! She's back to secretary work! Just please, don't hit me anymore! Huh. That'll do. You should be honored, you know. This guy's fists are famous. Ah, oh, sheesh. Let's get out of here, all right? Crowds gathering. Forgive me, Kiryu son. It was all the adrenaline rush. Don't worry about it. Hasuka's lucky to have a friend like you. Huh? I never realized. This whole time, you weren't bitter about losing your job. You were worried that Kasuga might feel like he's to blame. Yep. Ichiban's carrying so much guilt on his shoulders, thinking he got me fired. I had to be able to assure him that it was never his fault. All this time, Ichiban's been suffering needlessly, feeling like he owes me. I just wanted to relieve him of that burden. But even if it had been because of the online thing, you never held it against him, did you? Of course not. How could I have? He didn't do anything wrong. I see. One thing, though. Hmm? I've been biting my tongue for weeks now, and it's been pretty exhausting. Because I really did love that job, you know? So after they fired me, I had to make sure not to mope about it near Ichiban, in case he took it to heart. Ah. Uh. And now, I'm so glad. I'm glad because... Ichiban is just unhateable. I can never be mad at him. Not for any reason. Nanba. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just feeling relieved. Nanba, for tonight only, what do you say we have a real drink? <laughs> y 
You're devious, Kiryu-san. <laughs> if we're gonna do this, I insist we go top shelf. Hmm. Bartender, give me your number one best and most affordable offering. <laughs> Looks like so, so, so <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> My throat's really killing me right now. Looks like Psycho's on the phone. Okay, the got call. it. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Just let me know straight away from now on. Yeah, thanks. What's up? Is there a problem? Yeah, something came up at the club. <laughs> I don't want to bore you with the details, Kiryu-san. I've got time. Go on. Talk to me. No need to keep quiet. Should I really be consulting the legendary Yakuza about something this trivial? It sounded pretty important when you were on the phone earlier. Oh, I can't believe you heard that. <sighs> How embarrassing. Guess I've still got a lot to learn as a business owner. So, a problem at the club, was it? That usually means sales aren't up to snuff, or the staff got headhunted. Or sometimes you'll have the Yakuza harassing you, trying to make you cough up protection money. I hear the Seryu clan hasn't been going around doing that lately. Really now? Good to hear. But yeah, one of our business rivals is headhunting our girls. Of course, that's not illegal here in Ijincho. Since the economy's down, everyone's desperate to survive. How many girls did they poach from you? So far, just the one. But it looks like they approached four or five other girls. That's no minor issue. If they all get headhunted, we're done for. I taught these girls everything they know. We won't be able to keep the club running without them. But that's not the worst of it. People are saying I'm trying to close up shop, which only makes it easier to drive these girls away from us. Wait, they're saying what now? Rumor has it that I'm totally on board with marrying that consulting firm CEO. It's true he hasn't been subtle about it, so other people assume I'm happy about the whole thing. That makes the rumor about me shutting down the club seem more plausible. If that's really the case, then no wonder the girls think it'd be better to move to another club. And the cherry on top? Nobody told me about the headhunting right away because they cared about my happiness. In fact, they finally let me know in that last phone call. Really? And you didn't want to tell me? This is getting out of hand. Honestly, I'm more shocked that my girls kept this from me. Especially because I figured telling them to open up to me would be the best way to keep things casual. By the way, is it just me or is there just too fine a line between caring and being overbearing lately? When you climb up to a higher position, that may create a rift between you and other people. It happens. But something's bugging me about the headhunting. Huh? What about it? Don't you think this could all be a setup? A setup? By who? Uh, the person who wants to marry you. The CEO of the consulting firm who's been pursuing you. It all makes sense. His constant proposals made it easier for the girls to leave the club. You really think so? Mm-hmm. All the girls at your club were trained by you, so they likely feel a deep sense of gratitude. Normally, they wouldn't be persuaded so easily. They would have reported to you right away, so you could deal with it appropriately. Yeah, that's how it should have gone, but... Too much of a stretch? I've told you before, right? That CEO's loaded, so he's not exactly strapped for cash. Why would someone like that be headhunting hostesses? Uh, that's true. So close up your club and, and I don't mean to flatter myself here, but he takes each and every proposal seriously. If this was some kind of marriage scam, I would have seen right through him. Mm. Can't argue against that. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to blow up at you. 
But I'll look into this incident anyway, just in case, to see if he's involved. Sorry if I offended you. I crossed the line even though I don't know much about running a business. It's fine. <laughs> no offense taken. You're pretty much the only one who'd hear me out on these kinds of things lately, Kiryu-san. I'm glad I could lend you an ear. Feel free to try and bore me all you want. I think I might take you up on that. <laughs> Looks like Psycho's taking a call. Yeah, but is that really true? I, I just can't believe it. Gotcha. Hmm. I guess I was wrong about the whole thing. I'll go check it out myself. Depending on how things go, this could mean war. Looks like something happened with Psycho-san. Yeah, something alarming at that. Especially if it means war. If I recall correctly, the two of you have talked about it before. About how her girls being headhunted may have been part of a ploy. That's right. I guess the CEO who's been fawning over her was behind everything. Not so sure about that. It's hard to say, going by that phone call alone. Um, excuse me. Are you Suzuki-san? Thanks for looking out for our mama. Who? You talking to me? Who else would she be talking to? You're the only Tai Chi Suzuki here. Oh yeah, that's right. I really do have to tend- I tend to let my guard- You mentioned your mama. I'm guessing you're one of Psycho's girls? Yeah, she was just here, right? I came to stop her from rushing into trouble, but she hung up before I could get a word in. So the person Psycho was talking to. Yep, it was me. What's going on? Right. You know that CEO making a move on our mama? Turns out he has connections with the rival club. The rich guy with a consulting firm? Yeah, him. Apparently he and the manager of the rival club ran in the same circles back in college. Mr. CEO was always looking out for him. Anyway, it sounds like the club manager asked his old pal to keep hounding our mama to keep her from noticing all the headhunting. So Saiko went to give those guys a piece of her mind. That's where you thought she'd be in trouble, right? Yeah, she sounded pretty pissed, so I figured I had to stop her. All right, I'll go check on her then. Do you know where this club is? Oh, yeah, I do, actually. I can't believe you've been wasting my time. So tell me, was everything just a ruse so you could pick apart my whole crew? Well, guess this is the end of the line. <laughs> you caught me. I did help him headhunt for his club, yes. It was a request from an old friend, see? He always comes to me whenever he's in a pinch. Sorry about all this. I'll clean up this mess. It's fine, but Psycho-san, listen. I know you're angry, but I think there's been a little misunderstanding. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure there is. But now that I know what you're after, I can see right through you. You're just a pair of scumbags. Hey, watch your mouth. My friend here makes millions in a month. And you're just a mama from some cheap-ass club. <laughs> what, you expect me to change my tune just because he's filthy rich? This is between me and him, so buzz off, dumbass! You bitch! <laughs> Guess you didn't need my help after all. That's quite a face you're making, Psycho. Oh! Hey, Kiryu-san. Why are you here? I got word you were pissed at a guy for using you, but... You seem to be keeping a cool head. Well, yeah. I just want them to quit snatching up my girls. Well, that and having them swear never to do that again. Right. So that's why you got yourself a bodyguard. But that makes things easier for us. 
you know, since I'd rather not lay a hand on a lady, you know. Can we not? I didn't come here to deal with you. I don't want to get dragged into this either. At least, wait until I leave? No can do, man. Gotta hit him hard and fast to come out on top. The guy's hired by the Psycho Makota. You can bet she's got something up her sleeve. This old man's probably gonna put up a good fight. Uh, hold on. I think you've got the wrong idea now. Just FYI, you're messing with the wrong person. I can't tell you his name, but I'm warning you, he's strong enough to be called a legend. <laughs> like I'm falling for that. Oh boy. Oof. Come on, boys! Take that time warning to next shut time. him up! Get him! I'm ready. I won't hold back. Alright. Oh. Ready for the knockout. Let's finish this! Here we go. What's the hold up? <laughs> <laughs> Follow my lead. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Learning more every day. Yes. What the hell are you? I did say you messed with the wrong guy. Wait, please. I really can't fight or anything. This has all been a misunderstanding, Psycho-san. Give it up already, won't you? The manager here asked you to toy with me, didn't he? You think I was in a rush to get married since I'm right at that age? So you played it up thinking I'd bite? Just a second. Why do you insist Psycho's misunderstanding something? Spit it out. I, I admit it. At first, I did try to get close to Psycho-san at my friend's behest. He wanted me to draw your attention. That way, he could poach all the girls you've trained yourself. As for me, I thought I could have some fun with a young, beautiful mama who works hard to earn her money with her own club. Ugh, can you hurry up and get to the point already? Because you're just adding fuel to the fire right now. I, I, I apologize. I, just please, let me say my piece. <sighs> Fine, I'm listening. After dating you, I started to fall for you, your personality and your business philosophy, and that's when I realized if I were to find a partner for life, I can't see myself with anyone but you. What are you saying? Do you truly hate me, Psycho-san? I was kind of hoping I still stood a chance, however slight. I've got money and the looks, if I do say so myself. My business is doing well, and I love kids. And I fully understand that my personality needs some fixing. Wait, are you seriously trying to propose to her right now? I am. I hadn't been interested in marriage at all, not until recently. Too many women have tried to get close to me, their eyes set on the fortune I've made. But Psycho-san is different from them. Uh... She cared not a whit for my money. She's always brimming with confidence, even when she relies on someone else. You're beautiful and thoughtful. With someone like you at my side, I'm sure I could learn how to support another. In the beginning, I had considered it a ridiculous farce. Where did he pull the roses from? Oh well. But now I believe we could create the perfect family together. That doesn't sound like such a bad deal, right? You can even drop your modest little club. I guarantee that my old friend will take good care of your girls at his- And if you had a chance, you blew it. But you didn't have a chance anyways. His place. From a business perspective, surely you understand how this would benefit you. What bullshit. Huh? I'm done listening to your stupid long-winded excuse, so now you listen to me. First, run off to that little friend of yours. Tell him not to come near my girls. Ever. If he tries to pull another stunt like that again, 
He's as good as dead in this town. I'll crush that little club of his and kick you two out of Ijincho myself. But uh, what about my proposal? I'm not done talking. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, but your words didn't get my heart racing. But I admit, it takes balls to propose given your current situation. Maybe that would have worked on some other girl, but not me. But if you keep coming on to me, I will humiliate you so badly you will never recover from the shame. Oh God! Don't you ever come looking for me again, if you know what's best for you. It's over. Goodbye. You're a tough one. Guess I didn't need to check on you. Unbelievable! Like, seriously, do I only attract guys like him? They all try to weigh marriage with pros and cons, but I don't see a single goddamn pro from my end. Ugh! Idiots! All of them. This isn't a joke! Sometimes that's just how it is. I'm a businesswoman. I have my priorities sorted, unlike most guys. Agreed. But maybe you ought to slow down. You're drinking too much too fast. Well, excuse me, but I am pretty depressed right now. Is that how marriage proposals go nowadays? Or, or am I just old-fashioned? Hmm? Old-fashioned how? Well, when I think of marriage, I think of a place two lovers end up after affirming their feelings for one another. But that CEO and... Even Ichiban. Yeah? They both said the same thing, like how they'd make me happy and what sort of dream we could live out together. But there's something more important than all of that. Why didn't he realize that? And he thought he could get away with it after knowing me for so long. Look, maybe this is just my imagination. Uh-huh. The CEO and Kasuga's proposals. They both sounded the same to you, didn't they? I mean, Ichiban's was probably worse, but yeah, they were pretty similar. Especially when it comes to saying what mattered most to me. I figured as much. What makes you say that? I've spent a lot of time with Kasuga in Hawaii. His awkwardness aside, I do admire his passion. And by now, after having a few drinks with you, I can imagine what sort of date you went on and what you guys talked about. I'm sure he was spinning his wheels, trying so hard to convince you. Unfortunately, every point he made to win you over all meant the same thing to you. That there won't be a single con. And that wasn't what you wanted to hear when he was proposing, was it? But you can't bring yourself to tell him that you wanted to hear something else. Because of that, you spent all this time not talking to him. You really think so? <laughs> Actually, maybe you're right. Maybe that's what this is all about. I can't answer that question for you. But I do have one piece of advice. Nobody knows when their life will be over. One day, you might be told your days are numbered. Oh, care you, son. When you're young, you think you have all the time in the world. But the clock's ticking. I don't recommend you end things the way they are. <sighs> That's all I have to say. Thank you, Kiryu-san. No need to thank me. That was just the ravings of an old man. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> you know, I really loved my grandpa, so you can keep going on about the good old days if you want. Hey now, I was just being modest there. Don't actually treat me like any other old man. <laughs> yes, sir. Anyway, I'll slow down so we can take our time drinking. Come on, how about a toast? To what? Hmm, let's see. To this very moment, to enjoy the rest of our lives to the fullest. 
Not bad. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Cheers. Song he's on the phone. She mentioned before there was a trade in your Gomi Jewel. Is this phone call about that? Got it. Thanks for the report. I'll be there soon. You guys have to stand down. We won't come out of this unscathed, considering we're up against Hanchal Sa. What's going on? You were just on the phone with a subordinate, right? <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, um, I just finished my drink, so I'll be leaving now. Wait, Sunhe. It sounded like you don't have enough hands on deck. Psh. I'm the queen of Comey Jewel. I always have enough hands. Suzuki-san. It's rare for you to be stood up. I doubt I even had a chance. Do you happen to know anything about what Sunhe is dealing with right now? As much as it pains me to snitch, it seems that a hostile faction in Komi Jewel started an insurrection. An insurrection? About ten of them, all led by Han Chiu Se, have been attacking one Liu Mong shop after another. It's likely they're aiming to start a war as quickly as they can to try and overthrow Sun Hee San. <sighs> Things have already escalated that far. As the Queen, she needs to bring Komi Jewel under control herself before the Liu Mong retaliates. Which Liumang spots are they hitting up? Do you know where they are? I take it you intend on helping her? Of course. I understand how you feel. But you ought to know that Sun Hee San can't accept an outsider's help. Unless she demonstrates authority and resolves this situation herself, the same thing will keep happening. Please, time is of the essence. There is no way I could relax and knock back some drinks after hearing all that. That's not the only problem, by the way. I've noticed she's been trying to act tougher than usual whenever she's around you. My guess is that she wants to look more put together in front of her hero. You should be more considerate. Take her feelings into account. Now's not the time for that. Oh, right. I do have something that could come in handy. <clears throat> Wear this, and you'll look like any other Komi Jewel. Sun Hee San won't even bat an eye. That's genius. I owe you one, bartender. Enough, Hanshalsa! I have always thought of you as a hero. Why would you do this? That's right. I am a hero. But should a hero be forced to spend the rest of his life under the thumb of a little girl? Only a man of brute force, undeterred by bloodshed, can rule the underworld. Not a woman like you. I'm taking what is rightfully mine. Hmm. So that's Hancho, sir. Take a good look, Sunny. Don't your underlings make for a pathetic sight? They actually thought they stood a chance against me. Arrogant greenhorns. There's no soldier worth his salt within the present-day Komi Jewel. I've spent my days wreaking carnage during the Tojo clan's prime. I will bring change to this pitiful organization of yours. <laughs> What's so funny? You, Hanshal Sa. <laughs> You've gone senile. Sounds like you're under the impression that you could beat me. If only by brute force. Of course I can. But I'll let this slide. As long as you get on your knees and surrender. Then swear to all of Ijinsho that you're relinquishing your post as Komi Jewel's commander in chief. Hmm, that's all? Anything else? Let's see. Ah, yes. Strip off your clothes when you kneel. <laughs> Imagine, the Queen of Komi Jewel, surrendering while you. Don't you know? 
The common man loves a good show. You were never one who serves to please. Huh, good to hear. Huh? The proud warrior I once knew is dead to me now. And the lowly, boorish man I see here is nothing but a shell of his former self. Now I have no qualms meeting out punishment as your leader. Foolish girl. You only have a single underling left on your side. Give it up. You can't win. Shh, don't listen to him. I will win. Even if I have to fight alone. If you want to run, now's your chance. hate to say it. The clothes and the hair, you just don't recognize them? No, I cannot do that. Or she's playing stupid. Whatever you decide, I'll see it through to the end, Sunny. She's playing stupid. Okay. Mm. That voice. Don't pay me any mind. Huntul Su is approaching. So please brace yourself for battle. Right. Look lively, men. It's time for a new era. Down with the queen. Gretchen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, well, let's right, do I was it. using that for some reason. Alright, let's finish it. Together, we only need one Next. shot. Right. Come on. Follow my lead. Yeah. Oh, you. You're going to regret Goodbye. it. Oh. Easy. Easy. Waste them. I have and that's the end. <laughs> Doing better than I can. Assassin needles. Hmm. Oh, so it looks like rank five missions give you a very special weapon to their base classes. Could I, the Hancho Sir, have lost? Poor judgment, I'd say. That's just too bad for you. I mean, age has not been kind to you, hmm? <laughs> Since you messed with the Liumong. I'll just hand you over to them so they can decide what to do with you. <laughs> Unfortunately, that means I can't guarantee your life. No, please! Wait, Sunny! I'm sorry. I was in the wrong. In the underworld, you can't play ignorant and expect to get away with it. You were the one who taught me that. Hey, you! Thanks for the help. You really saved me back there. I didn't know we had someone like you in our organization. It's an honor to be of service to the Queen. Why don't you take off your mask? My apologies, but it is more imperative to tend to the injured as soon as possible. Pardon me, ma'am, but I should go look for help. Fine. Go on ahead. Have you been drinking here ever since I left earlier? Kiryu-san, a long drinking session is no good for your health, you know? It's fine. I didn't drink that much. Then I guess I'll take this seat. So... Did the bartender lend you that Komi Jewel mask? Sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Ah, oh, looks like I made you worry quite a bit. But if that's how you want it, I'll play along. Right, bartender? You got involved too, didn't you? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm just as in the dark as you are. Sure, of course you are. God, neither of you open up about your past or your secrets very easily. You two are certainly veterans in that field. How about a drink, Sunny? Just relax. Try not to give the bartender such a hard time. You two might be the only ones alive who'd treat me like a child. Then again, perhaps that's why I'm rather fond of this bar. To good friends and good drinks. Cheers. 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 Well, the bartender's having one with us. Nice. So what happened to that one trader in Comey Jewel? What was his name again? 
I'm Tulsa. You're still keeping up the act? Huh. Well, my lips are sealed. It's a Comey Jewel issue. Outsiders don't need to know. Okay, dealing with Kiryu-san is one thing, but why is the bartender smirking? That's poor customer service, you know. Look at her, giving us the cold shoulder. <laughs> yeah, she has a point. That won't fly in the service industry, bartender. <laughs> all right, all right, you two. Hmm. Hey, Joe. Ah, hey there, Kiryu-san. Someone's been knocking him back. You know, I still haven't had a drink with you yet. Mind if I sit here? Of course not. Be my guest. <laughs> Some one-on-one -on -one time with Kiryu-san, huh? Kinda making me a little nervous here. Then I guess you've already got a good buzz going. Been a while since you stepped down as a leader of the Liumang, hasn't it? Yep. Now I'm just a regular old civilian. Trying to be one, at least. Right. I imagine other people might not see it that way. It's been a solid 15 years since you quit the business, right? But people still call you Kiryu-san. The fourth chairman and the dragon of Dojima. Yeah. There's no running from your past. Guess we're both struggling on that front. <laughs> but at least I've got it a bit easier than you. My name's only good round here in Ijincho. Do you ever regret giving it all up? Your father passed you the mantle, right? Well, Liu Meng was tearing itself apart from the inside out back then. Thanks to Ryo Ayuki and the Omi Alliance. A good lot of them stabbed me in the back. Some of the old heads included. We had no choice but to rebuild from the ground up. Obviously, somebody has to take responsibility for all that. And, well, who else better than the guy up top? Since Komi Jo was literally going up in smoke, too, Ijin Cho's entire gray zone was in danger. Having Sun He take the wheel was the best choice, so, no, I don't regret my decision. I see. By bringing the Liu Mang and Komi Jo together, Son, he managed to save a lot of lives. That had to be a ton of hard work. I can't possibly thank her enough for all she's done. I'm jealous. All I have are regrets. Well, there are a lot of other things I regret. Oh yeah? Like what? I think I'm a little too sober to pour out my heart right now. All right, fair enough. We haven't even finished a single glass yet. Kiryu san, you're a dead man walking, aren't you? So you can't pay your family or friends a little visit? That's right. Are you sure you should be talking to me then? The Daidoji probably think that this will all work out in their favor. So they'll turn a blind eye. All right then. You think it'd be cool if you came over to my place? Your place? I own a Chinese restaurant, see? <laughs> An old little hole in the wall, but it's mine. Sometimes I cook the food myself. <laughs> Scratch that. Not sometimes. I cook pretty much every day. From the top of the Liumang to the head of the kitchen. <laughs> I've always loved cooking. You catch me in the kitchen even during my Liumang days. A lot of my guys like to eat whatever I whipped up to. You ever consider that it was hard for them to tell the boss his food sucks? Oh, so that's how you want to play. Guess now I've just got to invite you to my restaurant then. Must be nice to run a business doing what you love. Sounds pretty rewarding too. Sure is. And I'd be more than happy to serve you up a meal anytime. That's some confidence you've got there. I look forward to it. How about another round? Fine by me. 
But you should take it easy. Wouldn't want you to keel over before you get a taste of my cooking. Fine. Whatever you say. Barkeep. Hard to believe you're a sick man. Barkeep, hit me with another two. That's the spirit. Hey, what's with the face? Huh? Oh, hey, Kiryu-san. Something's been bugging me, actually. That right? Yep. Mind hearing me out? Can't say it'll be much fun, though. I'm all ears. I was checking out this food blog earlier. They review bars and other joints here in Ijincho. Of course, that means they hit up my place, too. Sounds like they rubbed you the wrong way. Well, yeah. They wrote a bunch of crap about how the food sucks, how the employees are rude, how the place is a stinking mess. And it's not a one-time deal, either. They've been writing about my place for... days. You're saying these are fake reviews? What else could they be? I take pride in my cooking. Sure, my place might be a little old, but I keep it spotless. Man, even thinking about all this just pisses me off. Can't be fun to deal with. Yeah, trust me, it's not. I'm still trying to figure out how to handle this. Should I leave it alone, or do I do something about it? Maybe we should have talked about something else. I wonder who they really are. Why do they get to remain anonymous when they're writing something awful like that? Not very fair now, is it? I'm also itching to find out what kind of person posted that. I get that everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but this just doesn't sit well with me. Has that blog started to affect your business? Nah. Sales is more or less the same as ever, as far as I know. My place gets lots of regulars. I think the customers who do follow blogs are usually the first-timers. Makes sense. And all that's left to consider is how you feel about this whole situation. Yep. Guess so. I think I've got an idea who that blogger is. Oh, yeah? Right before that blog posted, I got into a nasty little spat with a customer. Never seen him before in my life. How'd that happen? Well, considering my previous occupation, I get a lot of customers with some real heavy baggage. So I don't let people take any pictures or videos once they're inside. Even got signs saying so. But that guy didn't give a shit. And there's no way you didn't call him out. Damn right. I went up to him and I told him, please refrain from filming inside the restaurant. Honestly, I wouldn't have cared if it was just him there, but the place was pretty packed at the time. And that just got him all riled up. How dare you speak to a customer like that? And things just went downhill from there. He flung his chopsticks at his bowl and stormed out, screeching, See if I ever come back here again! The day after that, someone posted on their blog talking shit about my restaurant. I figure it's probably the same guy. Maybe you can ask Komijol to look into it. They're good at that kind of thing. I technically got booted from the underworld, you know? And to abuse an organization's power all for my personal affairs? Not a good look. <laughs> Plus, I doubt Sunny would let me off with a sucker punch. <laughs> That's true. I just thought that'd be the quickest way to take care of this. <laughs> well, to be completely honest, I did consider doing that. So, what's your plan? If that customer is the same person behind the blog post, are you going to confront him? I'm not gonna go that far. I'm just a regular civilian now, a humble chef. Considering how proud you are of your cooking, you're taking this pretty well. Yep, I think so too. It's like, once I get heated, it's hard for me to hold back. <laughs> 
this guy. What happened to being a regular civilian? Guess I'll have myself another drink. Alcohol's not a bad distraction. I'm with you there. Sorry for making you sit through that nonsense. Just glad you're feeling better. What's up, Xiao? More bad press for your restaurant? Eh, <sighs> not this time. Got a message from the Liumong boys. Said they wanted to tell me something. But didn't you leave the Liumong? Yeah, I did. But they still try to contact me. Mind if I complain for a bit? So, what do they want? You remember the blog I mentioned last time? The one talking trash about my place. Right. Might be the same guy that gave you trouble. Yep. Those Liumong boys are using whatever means possible to hunt him down. They're hell-bent on catching him, saying stuff like, he can't go around starting shit and running away like that. And if they do find him, things might get real messy. But you're not the one ordering them around, right? No, of course not. Which means these young guns are causing a racket because someone's giving their old boss a hard time. Yep. Honor's just as big a deal as life and death down in the underworld. Not that you need me to tell you that. Seems like you're a popular guy. Whenever a Yakuza boss steps down, people tend to avoid them like the plague. Eh, I guess so. But that didn't happen to you, did it, Kiryu-san? In the end, no matter where you go, popularity varies from person to person. So, how many of these guys are we talking about? A lot of them, but probably no more than 50. That's still no joke. But there's only four guys at the core of the whole shebang. They used to hang around me back when I was the leader, called themselves the Four Beasts. Sort of like your personal guard. They were kind of adorable in a way, but feisty. Got a tendency to take things a little too far. They're the ones who were really pissed off with this blogger, so I gotta tighten the leash. Must be tough on you. They're not gonna leave you alone so long as they keep you on that pedestal. <laughs> yeah, like you're one to talk, Kiryu-san. What's going on with me can't even compare to what the dragon of Dojima goes through. But, I guess the two of us are in the same boat. I mean, who else can relate to this kind of stuff? No wonder I like drinking with you. We can both complain about the same things. <laughs> guess the two of us make a perfect match. Best we stay on each other's good side, then. We're doing well so far. But seriously, Kiryu-san, you always look like you're trying to shoulder everything yourself. Hell, you even were quick to accept the fact that your time's been cut short. Not really. I've spent plenty of time thinking about it. You don't gotta lie down and take it. You could still try to fight back, you know. Survive. Looks to me like you're putting on an act. Because you're supposed to be a legend. Where is this coming from? Just something that's been on my mind. We've gotten pretty chummy, haven't we? Close enough for me to air out all my stupid complaints to you. Figured I could come out and say it by now. Or, um, did I cross the line there? You're fine. I'll keep that in mind. After all, it's good advice from a good drinking buddy. Awesome. Made all these drinks worth it. <laughs> Man. <laughs> You are one legendary pain in the ass. <sighs> Didn't think the drinks would hit so hard today. Hey, Zhao. Mind if I join? Grab a seat. But go easy on the booze, all right? I know. Sorry for worrying you. You better be. 
Usually, not one to say this kind of stuff, you know. Actually, remember what we talked about last time? Something new came up. Refresh my memory? That business with the blogger. The one who was talking shit about my place. Turns out the Liu Meng boys figured out who this guy is. Hey, isn't that bad news? I doubt they'd kill him, but... Yeah, I feel ya. I even told them to lay off the guy. And they said they got the picture... Oh... What's up? Since they've been calling themselves my personal guard... Well, they probably care more about my honor than I do. Can't imagine they'll sit around twiddling their thumbs. So, what's your plan? I gave him an ultimatum. If I find out something happened to that blogger, I'm closing up shop. Are you serious? Doesn't matter whether or not it was an accident. If that blogger is ever in danger, I'm packing my bags and skipping town. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're quick to take a stand. I'm impressed. Their hands are tied after hearing all that. Damn straight. They lay a hand on that blogger, my place goes poof. And everyone knows I don't want that. Guess you need to go that far to show them you're not messing around. All that's left is to pray that the blogger gets to live in peace. If he winds up in an accident, then I'm hitting the road. Sure hope your boys will give it a rest. Same here. That blogger is still talking smack about me every single goddamn day. Ugh, wish he'd lay off already. What kind of guy was he anyway? Ah, you know, just a very ordinary, very lame businessman. Same guy who caused a stink at my place. Seems like he caught wind he was being tracked and went into hiding somewhere. Oh, surprisingly perceptive. And they didn't find anyone at his house and. Apparently, he hasn't been going to work. Was he local? Yeah, he lived close to Chinatown. Made some posts about the places nearby. He's actually written some decent reviews. Judging by his analysis on flavor profiles, the guy's got experience. That's great and all. But he needs to stop antagonizing you on the internet. For his own sake. <laughs> you said it. I'm not sure if he even realizes how much danger he's in right now. Why not warn the blogger? Doesn't have to be directly. Maybe you could post a comment on his blog. Hmm. Wouldn't that come off kind of threatening, though? I'd rather not add more fuel to the fire. Ah. Yeah, I see your point. That blogger probably didn't think the entire Yokohama Liumang would be out for blood. Even if it's just on the internet. Probably didn't realize the owner was their former leader either. Eh, definitely bad luck on his part. But his manners were even worse. He was filming without permission, then snapped the moment he got a warning. Ever since then, he's been trying to pick a fight with me on the internet. Seriously, give a guy a break. But if you want to keep your place running, and he has to stay safe and sound. Let's have ourselves a toast. To his well-being. Yeah, sure. I guess. Never been so reluctant to drink before. You're telling me. Great timing, Kiryu-san. You got a second? Yeah, I can stick around for a drink. Nah, that's not why I asked. <clears throat> I'm having a little get-together over at my place. Gonna treat those Liu Mong boys to some grub. You remember that blogger who'd been bad-mouthing me? I figured they deserve a reward for not offing him. Oh, good for them. Yep. You wanna tag along, Kiryu-san? Are you sure? I wouldn't want to get between you and your boys. Oh yeah, I'm sure. It's about damn time I get to serve the legend himself a meal. If you insist. No way I can turn you down now. Now we're talking.
Thanks for inviting us, Cao San. You're cooking so good, I starve myself all day just so I can eat more of it. Thanks for having us here, sir. I stick out like a sore thumb here. <laughs> it's all good. We're just here to eat good food. Hey. Guys, over there. Hmm? Wait, wait, hold up. Yo, look who we have here. This guy's snooping on us. Who the hell? Hey, it's him, the blogger. This doesn't look good, Kiryu-san. Is he really the guy behind the blog? Yep, sure seems like it. Spill it! What the hell are you doing here? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Am I being abducted? Please, let me go! What's all this about? This guy's been trying to start shooting Zhao San's restaurant again. Looks like he came all the way here just to look for more dirt. Is there a problem with that? What's wrong with saying a place has bad food? I have the right to free speech, you know. Gotta say, I'm impressed you got the balls to speak up with all of us here. What should we do with him, Zhao San? Want us to rough him up a bit? Ah, do you even hear yourself? Come on now, you can't do that to a civvy. He's right, you know. The guy's free to post whatever he wants on his blog. Huh, you can't fool me. You're the one behind the Yokohama Liumang. Huh? Oh yeah. I know all about it. You sent your men looking for me all over Ijincho, didn't you? When I heard that gangsters were hunting me down, I decided to look into you too. You're their boss, aren't you? Their former leader? You act like you're not involved in any of this, but you'll sick your dogs on me later. <laughs> oh, now, now. I think you've got the wrong idea. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Ain't that right, boys? Since we're all here, why don't we settle down and have a bite? I've already finished prepping. So, how about it, fellas? Anyway, we're gonna have ourselves a party. So, don't mind us. We'll leave you alone. Really? Yep. Really. Wait a minute. Zhao San! Oh, damn it. If we let him off, then he might write about all this on his blog just for the hell of it. We gotta take that dude's phone away first. Aww. What? No, absolutely not. You can't do that. The fact that this bastard came here knowing Zhao San's our boss. Oh, no doubt he's screwing with us. Probably thinks we can't do a damn thing. <laughs> well, no way. He's only got a bone to pick with me. Come on, boys, let him go. We can't. If he's picking a fight with you, that means he's picking a fight with all of us. Zhao San, you might have left us behind, but we still respect you. Even now, you keep acting like a pushover, so now some vlogger thinks he can mess with us! That's right. You even tossed us aside. Gave up the Liu Meng to Komijo. We can't even get things done like how we used to because of this cooperation bullshit to appease a Jinsho. Sorry, but if you're not happy with how I run things, then like I said before, go hit the road! Not happening, boss. We all looked up to you. We thought that if we stuck by you, we could be more like you. Normally, you look laid back, relaxed. But when the situation calls for it, you're ruthless, reliable, a charismatic leader. At least you were. It's time you wake up, boss. The Tianyo Zhao I know would never let some random blogger off for talking shit. First, we ought to splatter his guts all over the streets. Let the whole town know that Yokohama Liu Mang's back. I told you that I'd close up shop if anything happened to him. And I fucking meant it. But boss, that'd be for the better, right? Wouldn't have to be some chef if he came back. Quit being... some chef. Uh-oh. Yeah, Zhao San. Uh, no, I mean... <clears throat> boss. Our leader! Let's give him hell, boss! Stay behind me. <laughs> no way. Am I going to die here? All right, fine. I get how you guys feel. You do? Then you'll come back? Nope. I'm not letting you boys lay a finger on this guy. You want him? You gotta get through me. They're just as feisty as you said they'd be. Sorry for dragging you into this, Kiryu-san. You mind taking that blogger somewhere safe? I'll stop these guys. Wait, Zao-san, are you serious? You'll take us on? All to protect someone like him? 
Even though we're the ones who have always believed in you? I'll do anything to protect my restaurant. After all, I'm just some chef. All right, fine. Have it your way, then. Quit screwing with us, you damn wuss! Need a hand? These guys are called the Four Beasts, right? We don't want you to bite off more than you can chew. What? You don't think I can handle it? Cause I'm absolutely starving right now. Let's do this! I won't hold back. Nothing personal. Let's finish this! as strong as ever boss please come back you'll just waste away here look i'm real touched you think so but if i went back to being your leader Eugene cho will be split apart again i promised sunny that wouldn't happen ever again and left everything in her hands but we've always looked up to you still do if you do make a comeback We'll follow you to hell and back. That's so. Hey, humor me for a second. Y yes, sir. What is it? This Tian Yo Zhao you've always admired. Is he the sort of guy who doesn't honor his promises? Is that what you guys think of me? A man who doesn't keep his word? Uh, um... No, sir. Not at all. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear it. Hey. Yes? What do you want? You saw what happened just now, right? Thus you don't get involved with them any further. I'm sure you felt safe and secure over the internet. But here, you were only safe thanks to Zhao. I'm so sorry, Zhao san. I'll delete everything I posted about your restaurant. I won't ever come near here again. So please, forgive me for what I've done. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No need to delete anything. Huh? I just want to ask you a question. When you ate at my restaurant, was my cooking really that bad? Er, uh, actually, it didn't taste awful at all. Hmm? I'll be honest with you. Your food is the best damn thing I've ever tasted in my entire life! Uh, come again? Nothing in Chinatown could even come close. I wanted to use every word in my vocabulary to praise your cooking on my blog. I thought maybe I could spread the word, share your food with everyone, so much so that I felt like I was on fire. But when you suddenly told me to refrain from filming inside your restaurant, the descriptions I had drafted in my head just fizzled out. That really upset me. And before I knew it, you flung your chopsticks down? I really am sorry about that. 
I don't know what came over me. Even though I've been wanting to compliment you, I kept thinking that you humiliated me in your shop. In the end, hatred sprung from your love. So that's the whole story. In that case, sorry. But I can't let you go home. Huh? Um, what do you mean by that? Hey, Zhao, what are you planning? <laughs> Now, go ahead and eat your fill. You're gonna recall each and every single word of praise that came to your head that day. But, but are you sure you want to treat me to all this food? Well, you were pretty spot on when critiquing other places. So now I want to know what you really think. Not anyone else. I, I don't know what to say, Xiao San. This is the first time anyone's ever told me that. No way I'm wasting this opportunity. Bon appétit! Dig in! Wow, this is delicious! Mm, damn! Tasty! Zhao, are you sure this guy's the real deal? All he said so far is that he loves the food and that it's damn tasty. <laughs> Aren't those the best compliments a chef could hear? There's more where that came from. You better savor it all. Woohoo! This is the best day ever, Xiao San. Everything tastes so good. I can't stop eating. Well, hopefully, he still treats his boys to a meal. My bad, Katie son. Didn't mean to drag you into that old mess. But you did. Missed out on my free meal because of you. At least that blogger looked like he enjoyed himself. The man ate everything you put in front of him. Huh? Back up a sec, Katie son. You didn't get to taste my cooking at all? Pretty much. He's so sad. Surprisingly. <laughs> well. <laughs> There'll always be another chance. We're drinking buddies now, aren't we? Yeah, that's true. But after seeing you fight earlier, I can understand why your boys want you back. You've got a knack for being a leader. It does seem like a waste of talent. Oh yeah, maybe. But all my life I was taught how to lead others. For as long as I can remember, I was told it was my birthright. And one day I inherited everything from my dad. And now that I've left that all behind, a new world opened up to me. There's no way I'm letting that go. Not without a fight. Being a chef means the world to you. Yep. There were a ton of possibilities, but the only one that mattered was the one I chose. I think I get it. Tossing a walk over a roaring flame, seeing the customers smile after eating my food. Everything so fresh and new. I really dig the way things are right now. And not only that, but if I can knock back drinks with a buddy from time to time, I'll be set for life. Sounds good to me. A humble life's not so bad. All right. Nobody here, looks like. Wanna take a quick breather? There's something incredibly tough waiting past this door. Go forward. All right, let's continue. Well, now, you finally made it. I've been expecting you. Wait. Who's tomorrow? What are you doing here? <laughs> hey. Huh? You're being dumb! Spit it out! Hey. Right. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. 
the ruler of this place, the true master. It was I, Ulamaru. I was behind you. What'd you say? You, what? what? Why? Why would you betray us? <laughs> oh, I have my reasons. Believe me, biggest suck is that no one ever noticed me. What? Think about it. The Gomi Jewel. Do you know how cool that is? Secret organizations are cool as shit. Cool shit is popular, and being popular rules. That's what it's all about. Huh? When I was little, anime was full of evil groups, and they were always the coolest part of the show. And their leaders, they lived every day like kings. They had the life. At long last, so will I. Okay. On top of that, they were bad boys. Bad boys score with the ladies. At least that's what I'm told. It was that I decided I would be big. I would be bad. Don't you see? Your sneaky little gang is key to it all. Hmm. Is he stupid or something? Probably. Still, Kazuko wanted to be a hero in a, in a way. They're not at all different. Great. So all men are idiots. Oh. Well, I don't think I am. But really, it was crueler than I thought. Sun He and Chugi Hung were solid rulers, and I couldn't make my way to the top. I was a lowly grunt, wings clipped before I could even take flight. Suddenly, a stroke of genius! Yes, all I had to do was form a new group and make myself the boss. Smart, huh? Ho -ho. I see. And that's we moved in here. Is that right? Correct. We got big. So, big. We'd take on the Gomi Jewel. We'd suck them up like milk through a straw. But of course, you come on, Sunghi. I knew it was coming. But to think it'd come so quick, you really screwed my plans here. Now I get what you're going for. Though it's a lot more petty than I thought. Ah, uh, well, whatever. This was inevitable. You and I would have clashed sooner or later. Anyway, you're right or what? Let's sell things. With pleasure, I'll take you out, then take my rifle and place as king of Jincho's underworld. And then, oh boy, I'll have it made. The ladies are going to be lining up by my door. I'm the real enemy. Bring it on. Huh? You want to fight? <laughs> I won't hold back. Ready for the knockout? All right, fuck the time. Let's make this exciting. Hope you're ready. Hey, get with it. Check this out. Well, here to dance. Here goes nothing. Ow. That's right, pal. To the grind. Give him hell. Ichiban Blink, coming right up. Thanks. Cool. Ooh. Yeah. All right. You're gonna get some Have fun with this. <laughs> Try and stop me. Something wrong? You think you can win? Try this on your side. Get rid of that. Let the go away. Back in the game. Man, you really hate me. Time to shine. Gloria waits one more time. Not the you. We'll do it there. Namba, you are about to ruin his day. You're weak. This is no way to fight. I'm over here. Hey, get with it. Let's see. Yeah. No, I should heal. Just gonna stand there. 
Let's not tempt to say. Healing up. Enjoy a delicious brew. Thanks. No begging for mercy. Okay, now. you're gonna just get hurt right now. Do it now, bud. Beautiful. Hope you're ready. I'm over here. Check this out. Well, care to dance? What the What's the plan here? Out of my way! Sorry to drag my feet. I'm not back again. Oh, actually, let's do this. Nothing personal. Let's make this exciting. Let's do it. Cool. Ichiban Blaine, coming right up. Thanks. Come again soon. What a blast. Now we hmm. Have fun with this. Try and stop me. Try this on the side. Refreshment have arrived. Thanks, thanks. Let's dance. A trace hell. You wanna fight? You got it. If I can get you bleeding, that would increase my damage output by a No way to fight. Ready for the knockout? Let's make this exciting. All good. Oh, yeah. No begging for mercy now. Watch this. Hope you're ready. Check this out. Refreshments have arrived. Thanks. Follow my lead. Hey, get with it. Nothing personal. I'll pierce your heart. Here goes nothing. Tap the shot. Out of my way. Yes, he's bleeding. Good. <laughs> All right. Nope. One second. How about you, here, you son? Yeah. Bring the noise. Ready when you are. Okay. Right, everyone. Let's go. Yes. Back in the game. Now we're talking. Have fun with this. <laughs> Oh, now I wanted. Oh, damn it. What's the hold up? No, no, no. Yes. Ready for the knockout? 
You're looking dry. This is the worst. Yeah, give him hell. Bring it on. Double the trouble. Double the flame. Nothing personal. Let's make this exciting. Ah, that's better. Let's dance. Check this out. Let the ouchies go away. That's better. Have fun with this. We doing it, Bank? Yeah! Special order! Enjoy! Follow my lead. Excellent, that's what I wanted. I'll wait for it, wait for it, wait for it now. A better item. I don't think that was luscious. Ugh. Lush, I call it. Lu I mean, I got some luscious steel. Yeah. Moving up in the world. Mm. Yeah. Sweet. There's more where this came from. <laughs> Guess that's it, Sun He. Yeah. Sorry about this, everyone. All I did was drag you into a bunch of nonsense. Hey, don't worry about it. Besides, we came here to train, right? We got, we gotta do that. No issue, yeah. Yeah. So, what about him, Udomaro Kun? Was it? Uh, impressive, Sonhi. Seems you bested me. I hope you learned your lesson. Sorry to tell you, but you're nowhere close to ruling over Jicho. If you really wanted to sit at the top, you should have come to be head on. Not to do whatever this was. I'm not one to brush off the challenge, remember that. Then again, you don't exactly have any reason to now, do you? The Gomiju won't tolerate betrayal, surely you know that. No, I'm sorry, I just want to be popular, that's all, so please spare me. I appreciate all you've done. Farewell, Udamaru. Wait. Uh, whoa, hang on, Sunhi. You seriously gonna kill him? Mm hmm? Huh? I mean, sure, he's a jerk for betraying you and all, but isn't that a little cruel? Sure. Yeah. I'm in such a this one. We get into trouble from time to time, but not like this. Rather, not to be an accomplice. Still? You heard our friends. Now hear me out. He clearly made some mistakes, but you can't deny he's got ambition. That's something. You want to lecture him to a, no end fine, but maybe give him a chance? I'd hate to have it this way on me. 
What do you think, Shadow? Eh, who's to say? I left Eugene shadow in your hands. I'm content with whatever you want to do. Alright. Any other day, we'd kill him on the spot, but it's bad enough I pulled you down here, so I'll let slide this time. With tomorrow, he's in it for long. In, in for a long, hard lesson in loyalty. But we'll keep him around. Thank you so much, Son Hisama. My life is yours. <laughs> Glad I worked out. Thank you, as well, Kiryu-sama. Take this token of my gratitude. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, Sunghi-sama, I am forever your yours to command. Please allow me to prove it to you. I know. Your shoes. I'll clean your shoes. With my tongue. Here, let me look. What the? The hell is wrong with you? I don't want your gross-ass tongue. That's it. You're dead. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, all things considered, they actually make a good pair. Yeah, you might be right. Well, I'd say that sharpened our skills a bit. We all come back here when we need. Oh dear. The EX sector. Oh, and he can visit my Dodoko Island, which I haven't done in forever. Can only wear it as a dragon dojima. Oh no, I could. <laughs> I mean, I think he's the only one I could wear it, right? Makes sense. Okay. Oh man. Nice. And that would be that. So yeah, all those things happened, and you probably might be able to hear my voice. Yep, I was sick. I could... it hurt it a lot. Well, let's do the hello work thing, because I'm curious what he wants, because I did do all of them. Oh, Suzuki-san, thank you so much for all your part-time rescuing. This is just a token of my appreciation. Brawler God Mouth Guard. There are barely any rescue requests at the moment. Thanks to all your hard work. These things come in waves, though. So I hope you'd be right when things pick back up again. Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh, wait. I passed it. Mouth guard. Oh. That'd be amazing for... You, which... I'm wondering if I want to keep all these classes, because right now I'm leveling these ones up, because I can go to a uh, Aloha Tours real quick, and I am going to do the story. I've been wanting to continue with the story, but I've been sick for like a week and a half, and all I can do is grind out that dungeon, which, hey, is fine, until I, I'm afraid they come too OP. I don't want to do that. Oh, darn it, I forgot Dante has things for me, too, and I really want to do those. Eek. You know what, I think... Found it. Picture perfect. Oh, yeah, I have yet to even start those. Hey, right here, let me show you my classes. So, I'm curious. Dragon of Dojima is at its max level to the point I have all its abilities. I can still level up more. Same with Host. Um, Breaker can use more work. Chef is what I'm doing now. Samurai's all good to go. Action Star could use more work. Aquanaut needs two more levels. Desperado's fully good to go. Power Dancer needs three more. Linebacker's good. Eh, whatever works. Namba's basically all good except for Chef and Linebacker and Aquanaut. Hmm, what's in this season? Uh, she's basically good except for Housekeeper, Idol, and one on tennis. We're bringing it back. He Now's needs the, the most time. work, but I'm getting there slowly with him. An important decision. And then, of course, she is all good except for a couple classes, which we're working on. I'm not leaving. And on top until of that, I unlocked outfits for them. They're Hawaiian versions. An important decision. We did work. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering if I want to change my classes temporarily for the. Uh... Also, the true dragon suit. 
Exclusive equipment for Kiryu. Legendary suit said to awaken the power of the dragon. Increases damage reduction for perfect guards and increases the input window for perfect guards. It's great. It really is. Oh, also, everyone's gear is basically upgraded and ready to go, except uh, her body suit. There we go. Now she's good. Also got the Eye of the Dragon, which increases your stats by quite a bit. I put it on her at the moment because I'm still rocking this. And honestly, I could probably take off the Court Tongues, and I can actually put the Eye of the Dragon on me instead. Because I don't think I'm going to need that anymore. That stays on him for now. Or I can do... Yeah, I might change my class temporarily. I, meant to choose. I want you to be samurai. Honestly, how's this? Space. Let's okay. give this a try. No, I don't know about this. I'm gonna keep Namba's linebacker for now. Mm, actually, no. I want a new surfboard before I do that. We'll keep you as a linebacker. First impressions are key. We're gonna keep you as oh, I don't need Ooh, healer. I make this look good, baby. Ah, uh, desperate. Um... um, why not? We'll do pyro dancer. I got a new weapon for it. Better than I pictured. Hard to improve on perfection. I'm not leaving until it's perfect. I'm gonna keep you as housekeeper. Second, so the great thing here is the true dragon suit's about to get overplaced. I'm gonna do optional gear. I got armor of the unified nations, which is better, way, way better. But uh, there's an armors in the dungeons that basically, uh, in the higher level dungeons, do open chests and their armors specifically for certain classes that are really good. This is one of them, but I'm gonna keep this on because it's way better. Now I'm going, I'm not going to put that on. No, 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 no. In fact, I want something. I'm going to take that off you. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I got the Dancing God Katana. I, I got a few uh, weapons. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I got the hiccups out of nowhere. We're going to keep him the way that is. Then again, I should probably put that on Kiryu, because I'm going to be using a lot of his skills. Hmm. Actually, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put that on Kiryu instead. Lie of the Dragons up top, and I'll put that on him. Alright, and then we're gonna put the Mouth Guard on Kiryu, because he has a lot of abilities I'm gonna be using. And then, we got Revival Microphone. It's not the best thing. I could've leveled it up a little bit, but... Yeah. I also need to increase her armor. Um, I could probably remove that too. Let's increase her. Ah, there it is. There we go. And then he is a mixture spell cat. Yeah, look at these great axes. So I got great axes, tribal axe, and then, you know, those. Wait, don't I have a special armor for him? No. Don't I have a special armor for her? No. Just checking. I think I only got special armor for... Oh, wait. Hmm, what's in this season? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> I could make this work. Give me a second. Yeah, I thought so. Diva. Okay, I want magical song. I want miraculous voice. And then, no, 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 Breath of Life, um, listen, I really love Poison Cloud Burst, and Mask of Punishment's here just as a, it's there, don't worry, also Campfire Cook is really good. Aquanaut, not really. Action Star, I don't have that ability on him yet. Breaker Host. 
No. Alright, we'll do that. Namba. This move's amazing. Uh, is for uh, Action Star, or whatever it's called. It basically will double the damage your next turn. So if you keep buffing yourself, pop that puppy on. Mmm, so good. Um, heart drum. Alright. Dynamite Fever. A Campfire Cook is too good not to put it on. Song Hui. Um, I want at least a grapple, sadistic heal. Okay, I'm happy. So basically, the reason why I wanted her to be that class is I got an amazing armor for her. Yeah, on top of that, that weapon is killer. Um, I think, uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna keep those earrings on you for now. But this is mostly the group I've been going with. Sung Hui's in the background, I know, but she is my backup if I need it. Um, now I'm wondering, do I want to actually continue with the story? Or do I want to do more of these? Because they are available. Um, I'm going to do more of these. Before that. Well, you know what? Actually, we'll do the story. Because if I have to guess, I recorded a bit originally. And if this lasts an hour, yeah, we'll see. Time to head to the Syria Clan Warehouse. We're likely in for a fight. What choice do we have? Get going. So my people are leveled up, geared up. We have skills. We got everything. And I'm ready to take them on. Yo, <laughs> they even brought a couple of babes for us. All right. I can't wait to get my hands on this crew. Dumbass. That he has no idea one of these babes is the queen of Komichul herself. Ah, ignorance will do you in like that. Hiru-san? I don't see Sawashiro anywhere. If anything, he's deep inside the warehouse. Here's the plan. We push forward until we see him in person. Anyone who gets in our way gets taken out. Hey, what's with you people? You think you can waltz right in? Don't just fucking ignore me! You wanna get dumped in the bay? If you're gonna bring it, then bring it. Yapping with you is a waste of my time. That's it, you're dead! The first thing I am! I'm ready. Try and stop me. Oh, boys, you have no Try idea what's about to happen. To get ready. I won't fight back. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Goodbye. I expected more. Hope you're ready. Check this out. Have fun with this. Follow my lead. Not gonna lie, I probably over leveled for this. Yeah, doing better. Moving up, strong. We should wrap. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be a kick. Tell walk, me something. Sadly. Aren't you people here to turn your lives around? Well, let me guess. You think you'll get a clean slate in Hawaii? And all you've got to do is follow orders. If that's how you see it, you'll never return to society, no matter how hard you try. But if you're serious about making a change, start by thinking for yourself. I don't give lectures like him. Only thing my enemies get is a lesson in pain. That's how it works in Comey Jewel. Ugh. Oh, 
That's gotta hurt. Guess even Sun He cuts loose when she's mad. I see the men out front gave you no trouble. Yeah. They won't be getting up anytime soon. I take it they could use the rest. Uh, don't worry about them. Bargain Barrel thugs aren't exactly at a premium these days. What with the dissolution leaving so many ripe for the picking? Isn't your job to fix that? Or is this second dissolution of yours just a way to exploit them? After everything you've done, this was your chance to light their path. Huh. I won't deny that. You know, one of them said something rather profound. Going clean was like prison all over again. You know, people like us have no freedom. Of course, he must have had eyes on him everywhere. You never know what an ex-Yakuza will do, right? And I'm not even at the saddest part. We have nearly a hundred people working here at all times, but they only need a single supervisor, if that. What makes that possible is the structure of our warehouse. Take a look at this observation tower. It's designed so you can't see in from outside. Because of that, you never know when you're being watched. Meaning, you can never slack off. They call it a panopticon. Any idea why these were invented? To keep prisoners in line. And twisted, isn't it? These people wanted to escape the doggy dog world of a criminal. Yet what do they do? Crawl right into another form of prison. Tell me, why gather them under one roof and then ship them over to Hawaii? To rehabilitate them, of course. Is that the only thing Ebina said? If he hasn't let you in on anything else by now, don't get surprised when he casts you aside. You may want to mind your words. These four are some of the Seryu clan's strongest. And I am level 50. And they don't take kindly to insults, especially when it comes to Ebinasan. They also won't hesitate to kill, whether they've been given clearance or not. Very bold for Yakuza in this day and age. Then again, I've seen plenty like that in my time. They have all come and gone. Now, you want to know what real strength is? Now let my fists do the talking! Oops. <laughs> oh, he brought the cane back. The trick cane, huh? Don't see that every day. Probably not all he's got up his sleeve, but stay on our toes. No fight for mercy now. Watch this. All right. I won't hold that. You know what? Not yet. Not yet. Nothing personal. Right. Uh-oh. 
Hmm. Oh, I can't. Guess you're not all show. Now then, let's wrap this up. Well, he's back to basics. Wonder what's next. I'm not that feeling about this. Stay on your guard. Reverse you now. Something wrong? Watch this. I won't hold back. Get serious. Nothing personal. Ready for battle! Yeah! I'll save you now. Oh, drop your fist is one of my favorite for apples. Maybe just stay down. This is getting old. Have fun with this. Whoops. Nobody likes you. Go to hell. What's the hold up? Follow my lead. Time to burn you down. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Fair fight. Hell yeah. Sweet. There's more where this came from. Might have been slightly over leveled. Luckily, this is only one group of the game, the other group has yet to be touched. We did it. We really did it. We beat Sawashiro. We beat him in the last game. Twice. Three times, I think. No, twice. Way to go, Kiryu san. You need to get me out of here. I can't speak freely around them. Hey, hey, let go! What do you think you're doing? Right. Hey, hey, better if they don't know where I am. Quick, throw me in the water. Sure, that's a good idea. <laughs> Not much of a choice here. Meet up at Ichi's place after. Huh? Wait, Kiryu-san, seriously? Oh God damn it! Sour shoes escaping. What'd you do that for? We are done here. Next stop is Ebina. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Oh, gosh, just full of surprises, isn't he? Ah, tell me about it. But I'll admit, hearing Sawashiro scream as he plummeted into the sea, priceless. Sure didn't see that coming. Hey uh, guys, uh, okay, yeah. So if they believe it, hopefully Ebina believes it, but I don't know. Ebina, I think, is too smart for Ah, uh, now it all adds up. Sawashiro wanted to get tossed in the ocean. Yeah, we made plans to meet up at Kasuga's place. Does this mean we're trusting him after all? Depends on how our conversation goes. Now, I imagine he'll want to keep a low profile. Maybe we'll get to see him in disguise. Oh, this is gonna be good. Please be an old lady, please be an old lady. Let's go back to Curious Place. God damn it. Ichiba. Well, technically, it is Curious Place right now. Alright. Please be an old lady. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> so, Shiro, you should see yourself right now. 
I'd appreciate you sticking to the point. I'm not man of time, you know. Never mind, he is Ichiban's janitor outfit from Sunset. Uh, what is it? Sunlight Castle or something like that. The retirement home. All right. But first, we need to know where you stand. Who is Ebina to you? The visionary responsible for the Second Great Dissolution. And a man after Masumi Arakawa's own heart. We thought the same at first. But in light of his recent behavior, I'm sure you've noticed something's up by now. Yeah. The second dissolution's just a smokescreen. A shiny ad to pull in fresh recruits. But I found that out too late. After sending Ichi to Hawaii. Gee, isn't the timing convenient? It does sound that way. But if it was a lie, I'd expect something a bit more convincing. He has a point. Look at that. Your slimy reputation precedes you. And it's in your favor. Let's talk about Kasuga in Hawaii. He's there to lure out Akane-san, isn't he? And it was Ebina who proposed that. Likely to curry favor with Bryce. Sound right? Right on the money. If that's the case, why are you still working with him? You had to have known. The hell Akane-san's going through? Dodging death at every turn? Isn't she the woman your boss loved? Yeah, but don't forget, Ichi's over there. As long as he's in Hawaii, Akane-san's in good hands. Placing your bets on Kasuga-kun, are we? Sounds like you trust him. <sighs> Something like that. But with him on the job, I can focus on the real work I gotta do. Real work? <laughs> and that would be... Putting Ebina's fake plan into action. I'm gonna see the second great dissolution through. Huh? But if I have any hope of doing that, I need to know Ebina's true motive. Motive for what? The waste management business he's running with Polycana. It has something to do with nuclear reactors. Specifically, the waste these reactors pump out. What? Nuclear waste? As in, from power plants? Or Kiryu probably got cancer? Yeah. On one end, there's spent fuel rods, which can still be repurposed and weaponized. Without strict protocols in place, they could easily fall into the wrong hands. On the other end, there's dirt, water, concrete, equipment, and what have you that end up getting contaminated. These are considered low-level radioactive waste, and while they're not as deadly, there's a lot of it. And with Japan dragging its heels in the decommissioning process, we're left with mountains of waste that'll remain toxic for centuries. The best they can do is silo it off in temporary storage facilities and hope a solution arises in the future. Oh yeah, I hear about that on the news every now and again. No matter where they try to build these facilities, the locals always fight against it. That's precisely what Polycana honed in on. For over 20 years, they've been stashing nuclear waste from around the globe on their private island. You know it as. Nelly Island, right? According to Polycana, that's paradise. A reward for only the chosen. Yeah. Real fitting, isn't it? Using sacred ground to hide away toxic waste. Bryce has a real sense of humor. Also, the fee they charge for processing the waste isn't cheap. And I'm sure Ebina gets a nice cut. But beyond that, I still don't know where all our ex Yakuza factor in. My guess is they're needed for loading and transport. So that's it then. Ebina's yet another money hungry maniac. No, I think there's more with him. Now, I know I shouldn't say this, but. Hear me out for a second. If Palikana's willing to bear the brunt of Japan's nuclear waste problem, in spite of all the issues, isn't it a win for the country? From what I understand, each country's responsible for its own nuclear waste. How does Ebina plan on going around the law? 
Well, he won't have to if they loosen regulations. Politicians, bureaucrats, and investors are all waiting to jumpstart the nuclear industry in Japan. And to keep the money flowing, they'd build even more reactors if they could. Naturally, they'd also welcome any waste disposal method that seems convenient. So if one day you hear the TV saying how the government wants to ship its waste offshore, that means they've already started trying to sway public opinion. And eventually, a change in legislation will follow. Wow, that's insane, right? There's a chance Ebina and Pelicana could legally be in the clear. Hmm. If only it weren't the Yakuza and a cult, I might have just took it and shrugged. Sorry if this sounds biased, but there has to be an ulterior motive somewhere. There absolutely is. In other words, you're sticking with Ebina to figure out that motive. Yes. Oof, so I got a feeling you're gonna get offed. You say that, but did you really need to blow Kiryu-san's cover? You know, on the Tatara channel? I merely read the script I was given. Huh. All right. It's true that for Ebina, the second dissolution might just be a means to an end. However, if Masumi Arakawa were alive, this is something he would have wanted. And if whatever Ebina's planning would subvert that, I'll bring him down from the very foundation. I see. When that time comes, I would hope to have the Dragon of Dojima's support. That's why I went through all this to speak with you. How could the Great Dissolution we forged with the Tojo Clan and the Omi Alliance crumble like this? People put their lives on the line to open up a path for the future. But all it took was four years to fail. Oh, curious son. Guess your plans weren't so airtight. As a country, Japan's not exactly kind to those who make mistakes. Far from it, actually. So yeah, these ex-Yakuza had nowhere to turn but Ebina. Getting back on their feet wasn't an option. No, something's not right. It shouldn't have been like this. This wasn't the plan they told me about. The plan we all believed in. Sorry, who are they? The leaders of the Great Dissolution. Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Along with Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima. Oh, are you gonna see them? I go, you're looking good. Oh, that's it. So that must be Daigo. Interesting. I, I'm hmm. I'm gonna probably stop it there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm stretching. I felt good, though. Ugh. Huh. So, something's up with the Great Disillusion. It's not working out the way they planned. Hmm. I doubt Die going all that ulterior motives. Something has to be going on in the backgrounds, maybe. But, eh, I'll see next time. This one's either going to be shorter or longer, because I did record a lot with links and all that. Well, hey, we'll see. Until then, next time, I'll see you and bye.